तो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस द मिसकनसेप्शंस अबाउट नो सीक्वल मिसकनसेप्शंस तो पीपल हैव द रोंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग पीपल हैव द रोंग कॉन्सेप्ट्स द रोंग आइडियाज द रोंग नोशंस अबाउट नो सीक्वल एंड ऑफ कोर्स दोज रोंग नोशंस आर नेगेटिव तो द पर्पस ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल इज टू लुक एट सम ऑफ द फंडामेंटल misconceptions people have about no sequel and those uh, 10 misconceptions i will be discussing as shown on the slide so you see there is a host of misconceptions and among them i have selected 10 of them so now let's uh, look into more details about those misconceptions because as you can see over here that these misconceptions are very uh, they are addressing some very important aspects very critical aspects for example uh asset compliance for example bread and butter of databases now it that's not the case that no sequel is does not complies to asset that is not the case okay and it is just a hype that is not the case no sequel is used by facebook used by amazon used by google oracle has no sequel solution microsoft has okay so it is it is not a hype okay so i will go through uh, these 10 uh, of this misconceptions and after this module you will be more comfortable and you will be more confident about knowing that the area the, the, the domain in which you are working vis a vis no sequel that has a bright future and it also has a bright present so uh, uh so let's talk of the those misconceptions starting with single type of database it is not the case unlike the relational model which only supports the relational model no sequel supports four different types of databases not one but four and three types of storage mechanisms so if you look at the combinations it's a wide variety it's totally wrong that it supports only one type then is uh, the list is given over here it is not asset compliant that is not the case okay uh, for example it is fully serializable in certain types of uh, implementations and it is read commit asset compl compliance also right and of course then there is the asset like consistency which is there at the client side setting so you have this no sequel solution and you have to set certain settings at the client end which will ensure asset like consistency so that is not the case that's a misconception no sequel lose data that is not the case why is not the case because there are number of things for why, because of which the data might might be lost for example it is a product which has not been properly configured it is a product which is not mature enough it is a product in which certain features have not yet been implemented because by definition no sequel is is open source except for the license which have those lot of features so one cannot make a passing general judgment based upon something which is open source which people are developing groups are developing and publishing it making it public so it is for less mature products and incorrect use guarantee of durability in asset compliance this d this d over here okay this d this is there this is there whatever is written okay that stays there it stays there uh mission critical workloads now if that was the case so for example if uh if the if there is a loss of data if there is a loss of data then why would depart defense and intelligence agencies would have been using for mission critical applications why the banks would have been using for mission critical applications why the media companies would have been using no sequel for storing their digital assets why the government healthcare system 
is using NoSQL when, of course, because there is no loss of data. It's a misconception. NoSQL database is not secure. Okay, they support cell level security. Cell level means that I run a query, I secure a table or a group of rows and columns subset, and I can secure at the cell level, which is intersection of a row and a column. That level of security is supported. And Accumulo came from National Security Agency. This came from NSA. So how come if it's if 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 it's not secure, then it is coming from NSA? Many uh, many op open source commercial trying to replicate the Red Hat successful model. Okay. So the point is that many features come at a premium. You have to pay for them. They come at a premium. So the open source things, okay, which which is open source groups are coming up with it, they may have certain issues, right? But that is open source, and there are many. Uh, they are all open source. That's that's wrong. All Microsoft has their document DB, Oracle have, and then friends. So there are many companies like uh, uh, Microsoft. Maybe a new entrant, but friends has been around for a long time. So it's not only open source companies. There are a lot of established players in the market who have NoSQL solutions, their own NoSQL solution. Only for Web 2.0 application, it is just a hype. Now, uh, since NoSQL is is uh, is public domain, so many startups adopted NoSQL. Okay, as their fundamental database, so that gives an impression that it is only for the NoSQL, is only for the Web 2.0. That is not the case, because uh, there are social media applications are there, but the most of the applications of NoSQL are where the RDBMS was inadequate. More applications in the domain where RDBMS was not because as we have discussed before. That what we are trying to do with the RB, RDBMS, the relational model is trying to force, we are trying to force certain, certain problems, map them on the relational model for which the relational model is not suitable. And for those kind of models, we have the NoSQL solutions, more popular. Big DBMS players have their own versions, established players like MarkLogic, which has been around for more than 10 years. So it is not a hype. If something is around for 10 years if the major major players in the database market have their own versions it is not a hype these major players have invested time money and resources and people in it if it was a hype they would never ever have invested that kind of money in it and finally developers are not uh, no sequels developers don't do rdbms that is totally wrong that is incorrect the reason being that the RDBMS problems are different types of problems. The NoSQL addresses different types of problems, right? So it is no points in comparing apples with motorbikes. This is the kind of comparison which people make. It is irrelevant. NoSQL will be gone. Okay, if, if that was the case, we have new SQL also, which is the blending of NoSQL with the RDBMS. So it is evolving. We are getting new things. So if uh, if uh, NoSQL didn't have a future, why we have NoSQL? So you see that there are many misconceptions about NoSQLs, which are ill. Uh, I will never say they're ill-founded or not, but they are misconceptions. And in this module, I have tried to make an effort to clarify those misconceptions. That is all I have for you in this module. Thank you for your time.